Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at SparkFun Electronics. This is Robert and we have a couple new products to talk about this week. In this video we're going to be primarily talking about the new Intel Galileo which was actually debuted at CES and it's a pretty interesting board. We do just have this for pre-order right now. They haven't started shipping yet to us. The first thing that most people will see about the Galileo board is that it actually has an Arduino pin header on it. So you can use Arduino shields with this board. And in fact, this is actually a full Arduino compatible board. Um, they have a deal with Intel, so you will actually see this in the IDE. So that's actually pretty interesting. It's one of the few products that HANA is that crossover that's actually fully endorsed by Arduino. So we do have the shield header here. We have a lot of other things. We've got an SD card socket. We have an ethernet. Um, this little audio jack is actually an audio jack for the UART. I think Parallax did this back in the day where they had like a three and a half millimeter jack that went out to like a um, serial connector, like a DB9. So that's how they're doing the UART. And then we have a micro USB and another micro USB that is for the USB host. And we have this um, Intel Quark processor, which is actually just kind of a scaled down version of an Intel Atom, apparently. So it has a similar architecture to the Intel Atom and some of the Intel Pentium processors. So what that means is that you can actually use this as a development boards for those. One of the things that you might be seeing right here that's missing is this does not have an HDMI out. Like some of the other boards like the BeagleBone Black, the PC Duino, or maybe even the Raspberry Pi, they have some sort of video out, whereas the Intel Galileo does not. This board is much more geared towards the development side, and it's much more geared towards the input and output and an embedded computer versus, you know, the other ones are made for more of a graphical interface. And if we flip it over, you can see that we've actually got a mini PCI Express on the back. That's kind of different from some of the other boards on the market, as you can actually use PCI Express cards on this board. For those of you that follow all the news posts that we have, last week we actually did a little bit of an article on the Galileo and we did manage to get our hands on a couple of them. So here is a demo that one of our engineers, Jim, actually put together to show you just, you know, one of the little things that you could do with Galileo. Right now this is running a Python script that is just looking at an RSS feed of a Gmail account to determine how many unread messages we have. It's displaying that onto our seven segment shield and right now we have eight unread messages. So if I am going to send Jim another email message. We will see this increment up to nine. We have a PCI Express card. There we go. It's nine. On the back of this, you can see we've got a mini PCI Express card on here. This is actually a combination card that actually does Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, this is just something you can buy from Newegg. Any of the Intel cards work with this. And we've just got these two antennas, which are the same antennas that we have that just have a UFL connector at the end. So we do have these available for pre-order and we will be getting them in as soon as they start shipping. If you're looking for that kind of combination between the best of both worlds, you might want to check out the Intel Galileo. Anio Magic is an e-textiles company that's trying to make it easier to program and put together e-textiles projects that are interactive. And the way they've done that is that they've made all of their modules smart. Everything in their kit there, LEDs, the sensors, the buttons, they all have controllers on them. When you sew these things together, you don't actually have to think about how the circuit's going together and you can think about how the garment or whatever it is you're making is coming together. They've come out with a new kit called the Chiclet and this is a whole new set of sensors and main boards that make it very easy to put these projects together. And they're all based on a central board that has a processor on it and an LED and then you can hook that up to any number of sensors and they have sound sensors, light sensors, accelerometers and then you can hook those up to any number of LEDs and when you program it you simply program it using a app that's on their website and it programs actually using light. There's an LED on the back of the board that acts as a light receiver and translates flashes from your computer monitor or your smartphone screen into the program that it's going to run on the controller. So what I've done is I've taken our new Chiclet sound kit and I've sewn it into a watch band. You might notice as I'm talking that the lights are reacting to the level of the sound. One thing to keep in mind your uh, instinct putting this board on is going to be to put all of the components facing up. Don't do that because I had to cut a hole in the back of my watch band to program it. 
So you actually want the flat side of the board facing up that has the little light on it.